Hello everyone, welcome back. We're out here, not on the range, we're actually in my driveway with my 2016 Road Glide Ultra. And today I'm going to be putting in the console vault. No, this is not a strange looking football. This is the console vault. They make these for Harley Davidson baggers. We're going to be doing the installation today on my Road Glide. So let's take a look at this. I've done uh, just the one thing as prep. To get this done we'll take a look at that what I had to do um, because I had the quarter turn to take the bags off and this requires putting in a threaded insert so we'll take a look at that uh, the console vault as you can see is completely put together it is solid steel uh, this one has the four combination lock on it so you have 10,000 combinations that you can do here this is already installed this is where your the top of your bag latches into it's spring loaded here it does have a little insert that goes in it I had to take that out so I can install it but I'm excited to be putting this on the bagger and disclaimer the thing is absolutely filthy it's October it's gone through the whole season gonna take it in uh, over the winter get it detailed have the oil change everything all that so bike is dirty filthy deal with it so let's take a look at what I had to do to prep for the installation on this and then we'll get started so as I said I had the quarter turn uh, attachment on these bags this does require to put the safe in there to have the full thread so you can screw your bolts into it so these little clips just slide out and you put, they send you the replacement clips that just slide in there. So that is the one little bit of prep I had to do at both mounting locations to take out the quarter turns and make a threaded insert so that the safe is on there. So I will lose a little bit of functionality, or a little, not functionality, but a little bit of ease of taking the bags off on this side but it's definitely well worth it considering I will now have a safe on this side that nobody is going to be able to get into. And then as far as the bag itself, we will have to take out these screws here and take out this attachment because that is included on the safe. And then we will have to take out this piece here. And they do give you a replacement piece that goes in there and you've got screws that go through it into the mounting plate that they include. So let's get started on the install. So we're ready to start the install on this. The first thing I'm gonna do is take out these screws because that's what holds your loop in there to close the, close the lid. And we will be replacing that with the one that is on the safe. So these are T20 Torx driver. On this bike, the instructions say a T15, but not a big deal. If you've got a T15, you've probably got a T20 sitting there as well. So those just screw out, pop out. Very easy there. So those are gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Let's see if we can't here we go there you go don't bother push trying to push those out from the inside just grab yourself a pair of channel locks pull it out so as far as this piece we've got two different types of bolts here that go in use these small ones or the ones with the thinner head on them low profile they sit in side that so you're not scratching up your support bar all right so we switched our angle a little bit here i'm trying to get you a good shot of what we're we're doing so we've got that in got it lined up with the holes we've got our uh, custom rubber piece here that replaces your factory one we come up from the bottom in here and these do take the 15 i'm just gonna lose the angle here because I have to get it flat so I can get 
these started and they're both started in there so now I can close it you can see doing here and just tightening them down those are tightened down I don't want to tighten them down too much because it's just a rubber insert there so it'll push right through it so there is our mounting bracket installed and then we just take our safe it drops in there like that open it up and we have our four holes in the bottom of the safe and we've got our four countersink bolts that go in there hold the safe to the mounting bracket and then it's installed and much like the other one the bosses are already threaded on there everything is threaded in that mounting bracket so as you can see we got our our four screws in there we've got this thing completely mounted inside the bag we've got our little rubber pad for the bottom of it so your gun just doesn't bang around in there and covers your screw holes now we're going to go over and mount it up to the bike with the two bolts that they've provided there all right our last bit of installation here is just put the bolts into the bike you've got the shorter one up here in front the longer one goes through the metal washer and then the rubber washer and goes in back here and there you go the console vault is installed on the bike turn it down lock it so here on the bike we actually have a double layer of security just like I would if I was in the truck I can lock the saddle bags and then you open up the saddle bags and the console vault is in here once I change out the combination on it so it's not four zeros we should be good to go and the easy thing the thing about changing the uh, combination on this is you've got a little hole over here on the other side get yourself a paper clip push that all the way in when it's open dial it into what you want and it's set so that was our installation of the console vault in the Harley Davidson here it's a little more involved than than the truck you can't just drop it in and go uh, you did have to take out the loop there that the top latches into I did show you I had to put in the different clips in there so that it, we did have a place to screw in these bolts and then we had a little bit of an issue feeding them up trying to film and get the bolts in from the bottom if you're not filming it's going to be easier so we'll get in here give you a couple of nice looks at it so you can see how the installation looks on the inside take some pictures and call it good and here you go you can see it does take up that full space in there you're not going to have anything getting under it behind it anything like that because you do have the adapter plate or the mounting plate there on the bottom that the safe is mounted to on top of you got a big old bolt inside there that mounts it to the bike and you got plenty of space in there that is going to hold your gun, your holster, uh, your spare magazine, everything you could possibly EDC. I like having that extra security if I'm on the bike and I've got to go someplace where I'm not allowed to carry my firearm. I've got a great place to lock it up again with a double lock on there, make it more secure and nobody's going to get in there and take that bag. So if you've got a bagger, you can definitely give yourself a little better security on it. If you have to leave your gun someplace, check out Console Vault. I'll put a link in the description below 
check out their website. Uh, pretty sure any of the baggers for the Harley Davidson, they do make two models. They make the one like I've got with just the standard bags on it. And they also make one with the extended bags on it, which actually come down over your pipes on the outside here. Check out one of the videos you're seeing over here someplace. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that button up there. If you'd like to see another video from me, hit that button over there. If you want to see something from one of my friends, Gizzard Gary, Sergeant C4 Defense, or the Gunsnob, or perhaps a playlist from all the hens, hit that button up there.